Foster is looking. Still looking. Right corner, Bennett. A fadeaway three. Air ball grabbed by Allen with four seconds. Left wing to Foster. Left corner, a three is up. And in and out. It drops in. It drops in for Foster. It goes. And we're going to a second overtime. Prince Foster had a three that rattled around the corner. It drops in. Unbelievable. Bennett now 15 to shoot. Picks up his dribble. He'll lob it. Not a good duel. On the baseline. Back and down Smith. Goes in the base in the lane. A little jump. Hook is good by Amari Gadul. Back up top to Smith. Shot clock to game clock. Virtually the same now for Tarleton. They can win the game with a jumper here. 20 seconds left. Tarleton State ball. Rams up 87-86. 15 seconds left. Hard jump top. A handoff now. Now Hard will hold on to it. Hard 11 seconds. He's got the dribble. Dribbles in. Down the lane. Stumbles. Goes up. Blocked from behind by Foster. Loose ball in the lane. Grabbed by Reed. He goes up. Missed it. Loose ball tapped out. Grabbed by the Rams. It's grabbed by Quay Keen. And the Rams have won. Well, you know, for starters, uh, <laughs> we didn't execute very good uh, like we did against Kingsville, you know. Um, with, that's not the shot that we had wanted originally over in the corner. And, uh, but we did talk about Stedman going to the offensive glass. However, we did not talk about if he got it, what he was going to do with it. You know, so he gets it. And I, th I thought it was just great instincts by a senior to dribble back out, get it to a three-point shooter, and then just, you know, what, what, a, what a fortunate bounce to go our way. Prince kind of off balance, and, uh, but got it off in plenty of time, I thought. And ball rolls in. I mean, it went all the way out and back in. So uh, what a crazy finish. You know, these guys have been having some pretty good practices and their preparation has been good. They've been locked in and I think that makes a difference, you know, but I think it's been different guys, you know, I mean, like it was Quay uh, a game or two ago, you know, tonight really I thought it was Omari that played really well, him and Stedman, you know, Quan had a really good game against Eastern New Mexico. So we just have different guys and we've talked about that all year long about different guys stepping up and playing well. And uh, I mean, we've had a different starting lineup, seems like, nearly every game, you know, um, because we just have, get, you know, we have that luxury of rotating guys in and out. Well, you know, I think everybody's got a tough schedule, you know. I mean, it doesn't matter what, you know, you're on the road or at home. There's so many good teams and, and everything. Everybody's just beating everybody up, you know. And so uh, I think every team has got that. Um, but to be able to get some momentum, you know, back winning two games in a row, two games at home that you needed now we got to go on the road and we got to try to face some adversity where there's not a crowd that's cheering for us cheering for the other team but hopefully it will give us some momentum and some confidence going into saturday's game of commerce um you know we we was getting ready for the game we, we had two days two really good days of practice you know we bought in and decided to do whatever the coach going to show us what to do you know help the team win and we just came out ready to play uh, it really builds up our confidence because um uh, after winning against Talton here, we're going to be pretty confident and we're going to come out tomorrow, get ready, get like a good days of practice and I think we're going to be ready to play the other teams.